What's going on everybody? Welcome back with another video. Grab the new merch. You see the poster tee, the PWP beanie. Check it out yourself in the merch store below. But we have something else to talk about today. So I posted a video about Sean Strickland versus Nico in a sparring session, and it turns out I was in the minority on my feelings. You know, there were a handful of people who agreed with me, but a vast majority of people disagreed and said that Sneeko deserved every bit of what he got. So I, you know, I've rewatched things and I kind of uh, try to put things in perspective and see things from the other side. And honestly, I do understand where everybody's coming from. I get it. I don't like Sneeko at all. I don't really watch his content, but I know who he is. And I know he's a trash bag of a person and everybody wants to see him get you know roughed up a bit i completely understand that and i do think he deserves to be humbled but that is where you draw the line is being humble you can humble somebody without almost giving them brain damage if you believe that or not you you actually can and sean strickland showing that he really doesn't know how to draw that line shows that he really doesn't have much control now me at my level where I'm at. I'm nowhere near Sean Strickland. I would say Sean's at elite level. He's a world champion. He's elite level. I'm a little small tier, but I have control to work with newbies, work with inexperienced people, to work with pros, work with higher level people all throughout the spectrum. I can work with anybody. And I can adjust myself to that person as needed. And yes, there's times where people need to be humbled. And I'm all for humbling people. There's a lot of people that need to be humbled. But there's a way you do it. And I just felt like that was just excessive, in my opinion. Rewatching it. Now, Strickland is to blame. Yes. You know, he went too far. But you could argue that's just how he always does. He got lost in the moment. Yada, yada, whatever. I could sort of, you know, pass the buck off of him just a little bit. Because of that, but rewatching it, my main issue was all the people in that ring that did nothing. If this was a professional fight or amateur fight, professional or amateur, that fight would have been stopped much sooner. Honestly, it would have been stopped when the first towel was thrown. That's what throwing a towel means is submitting, quitting. Your team saving you so you don't get hurt. And how many towels did it take before someone stepped in? Four towels got thrown before someone stepped in and stopped Strickland from just murdering Nico. Well, a lot of people don't realize, you can look it up. On average, 13 to 15 boxers per year die because of trauma that they experience within the sport. Is this something that's going to permanently damage Nico? this whole sparring session? He's probably fine, but he could have got concussed. He could have gotten a lot worse. He could have broke a jaw. He could have really, really gotten hurt here. And the main people to blame here, yes, yeah, Strickland went too hard. But the people so-called refing this sparring session, who allowed Sneeko to take much more of a beating than he should have taken. Yeah. I wanted to see him get hurt. And honestly, where Strickland's at fault, I just don't like blasting people, especially new people, in the face when they don't even know how to defend themselves. Body shots are just as devastating, if not more, with way less long-term damage. I've stopped plenty of people to the body because they try to get a little too wild and have them in their place. And then they're fine. They get that hit. They've realized they messed up. It hurts them quite a bit. They might even get out of the ring. But everything's fine at the end of the day. They understand what they did. They're humbled. And they know going into the next session what to do and what not to do. That's my whole thing, man. Strickland just didn't have control. Neither did anybody in that ring. I don't care who you say that ref was. If he is a world champion, he was a professional ref. If this was a real fight, that fight would have been stopped way, way sooner, like it should have. When that first towel got thrown in, it should have been done. Yeah, let Sneeko get his licks. 
Let him uh, get blasted a little bit. Yeah, let Sneeko feel the power. Be in danger just a little bit. But then pull him out before he gets ultimately hurt. It's for the better of the sport. You know, we start murking newbies. How does that look as a sport? Looks savage, right? And it's how you get a lot of places shut down. And from my understanding, I don't know how factual this is. You just want the comments in my video. This gym that they were at is known for doing this to newcomers, not just Nico. Any newcomers that come through that door. But I can't say how true that is. That's just a comment that I've seen. Anyways, that's how I feel about it. Let me know how you guys feel. And until next time, I'm out.